Alright everyone, welcome back to Soldier of Fortune 2. You may notice a slight discrepancy in the way this looks. It's actually now in widescreen mode. Um, this is not necessarily down to um, high-tech uh, hex editor voodoo on the part of myself or any other inspiring modder. It was just down to turning on shadow play before I started recording, so it didn't get locked to the native resolution of the fucking video. You can see why I don't monetize this shit, because apparently all the money in the world can't get around my own crippling bastard ineptitude. So anyway... <laughs> By the way, I'm also painfully aware that if this has not come out in proper widescreen, I'm going to look like an even bigger cunt, so... There's no good way for me to get out of this, but you know what, I'm making the fucking effort so you can shut up, sit down, and enjoy it. Oh, anyway, previously, we were about to enter the armory, uh, Gold, Goldman's Books, I believe is the name of, name of the place. Uh, front for the shop, where we're going to get debriefed on our previous mission, where we blow up a ship full of biotoxing, and prepare for our next mission, where we probably up some more biotoxing somewhere else. Um, anyway, moving swiftly forward to the multiple levels of confirmation. Pretty certain I'd need to uh, go through slightly less levels of uh, confirmation to fire off a fucking nuclear missile, but alright, fine. Oh, hang on a second, we're on the world, aren't we? Ooh, look, we've left little, uh, little blemishes, little, well, what could I assume are just exclusion zones where John Mullins has been and exterminated all the natural wildlife. There we go, we look like we're in sort of Boston-ish. Oh, here we go. Uh, so, yeah, we're over here, and I'm just going in there. Hi, um, can I talk to you? Just trying to make conversation. You're the one standing out here having a fucking casual smoke. Um, ooh, is that a strip club? I've got a feeling it's not. I've got a feeling that's... Well, I can go that way. I think it's I'm not supposed to go that way. What does that say? I'm aware. Are those ribs? Ribs and a tiny little green. Away. Yes, all right. I'm fucking aware. Is that a dead end? I suppose it is. Oh, Hooper. Excuse me. Ah. Hooper Manufacturing Inc. Fair enough. Right. New and used books. New and used VHS and DVD magazines. Ah, oh, the days before the internet was commonly available to everyone. Sorry, we're closed. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm just looking for a copy of Days of Fire. Sorry, it's out of print. I was told I could special order it. <laughs> I think I can help you. Seriously? Like, I understand that that's supposed to be like a... Like a, what was it, call and respond kind of entry level, but what if someone does actually want that and they are so interested they could special order it? All that takes is one arsehole going, oh yeah, I managed to get Days of Fire from this, uh... Um, think of a bookshop, think of a bookshop, uh, got a books bookstore! And they just come in and suddenly it's like, okay, you are not clear to see any of this. Um, face that wall for a second, would you? Uh, sure, why don't we do it? And then just dead. And then Jim doesn't come into work tomorrow, and you know, all this song and dance goes. Ooh, ooh, we've, we've updated the way this place looks, but we've kept the same general layout. Same dudes, same dudes, look like people on the development team. Good fucking times. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Sam, good to see you. Taylor. It's good to see you too, John. Hello, John. Follow me. We've got work to do. Sale, 50%. Taylor tells me your mission was a success. Not saying so specifically if that's 50% off or not. So You're just saying sale, start. 50%. Well done. It's half the stuff up. Thanks. I was touch and go for a while. But we got the job done. I would expect nothing less from you, old friend. I think he's coming on to me. Security around here. This was here last time. In Santa Monica was taken out recently. I thought you'd heard about it. Well, in my defense, I've been kind of busy. <laughs> so you have. <laughs> well, I suppose. At least I'm probably rendering it. it wasn't painted on like last time. <laughs> Actually, no way. Don't get my hopes up. Those are shitty, shitty guns. That's something I'm missing, apparently. That's always the problem, stock shrinkage. Oh shit, okay, this place has seen some pretty heavy duty remodeling. Oh! <laughs> I do love how there's just a back door into this. Yeah, like, it's it's a single layer with brick. It's not even, all right, wait, one, like four layers of brick thick. No other, seemingly no other type of reinforcement and then just confronted by this gigantic strong room. Me thinks now has got their priorities in a bit of a kerfuffle. 
You do realize that's a push button, you don't just mash it apart. Still pending. Put your hands are that fast. Still aren't sure what happened. In the meantime, we can't be too careful. Vergara seemed to know a great deal about the shop. And about me. I don't really see how he got so much information. Could the two incidents be connected? You suspect an inside job, John? I'm really not until I'm sure which one I prefer. The unflinching eye contact or the not making be. eye contact at all? Like something for internal affairs. I'll get them to look into it right away. Good idea. As you said, you can't Christ. be too careful. Oh god. Wait, why do we have biohazard suits in here? And climbing picks and scuba gear. Okay, this is more of a general, you need shit, come here sort of place. Alright, fair enough. Although, fuck me, we must be keeping cult in business. Okay. Through here. Oh, you did. You decided to show up. Right. Oh god, cutscene. Our research department is trying to make sense of this whole mess with Prometheus Vergara and the Seaward Star. The top brass really wants to take out this Prometheus group immediately. Based on what we've seen so far, they're extremely dangerous. No shit! Ben and I have been coordinating with research and our field agents on this one, John. I think we may have something. We discovered that Manuel Vergara has ties to this man, Alexei Nashrad. The man Nashrad with the tiniest sunglasses in the world. Extremely dangerous. This is the only photo we have of him on file. We're I squinting at his own sunglasses going, Why did I fucking God buy these? Columbia. I sneezed last night and almost inhaled them. Just as we arrived. We also have the lab report from Pureza. We've entered the lab's finding with the keyword Romulus in the FBI's carnivore database. Oh god, are you fucking Intensive kidding me? research brought back mostly Roman mythological references. No shit, Most a quick trip to Wikipedia Prometheus, would achieve that. something in the search didn't fit. We've determined that Romulus is indeed the code name for the mutagen used on Pureza. When we cross-referenced Romulus and Prometheus, we started getting references to something called the Gemini virus. Oh, for fuck's Our sake. Our ran a trace and discovered that this so-called Gemini virus is actually a two-part strain, composed of Romulus and another unknown element, Remus. <sighs> yeah, we're speculating that Remus is a sister virus, but we have no idea what it does. Uh, Our I. research hit was at a dead end when the carnivore taps turned up an email that mentioned Prometheus and, more importantly, Remus. According to the email, Remus is currently in development in Hong Kong. We've even got an address. Who sent the email? Someone with the net name Deviant One. That's all we know. Oh, great. Whoever Some Deviant most One internet is, masturbator. they've successfully masked well, their identity from the carnivore program and the FBI. The identity trace failed. So how do we know this Deviant One guy is legit? We don't. Unfortunately, it's the only lead we have. Good Your tax dollars at work, ladies and gentlemen. When do we leave? You're on your own on this one, John. I'm going to stay here and help Sam find out more about Romulus and Deviant One. I'm also going to see if we can find out how Alexei and Ashrod fits into the picture. We've arranged transportation for you to Hong Kong. Everything's set to go. I'll let you know if we find anything. I'll do the same. Be careful, John. You too. <sighs> well, uh, just just before we get any further, what is it with, I can only assume this is more Hollywood, but I can only imagine this has bled through into real life because people are fucking stupid. Why go with these kind of code names where you can infer things from the actual code name? Like, if you base something off a myth mythological uh, kind of creation, Romulus and Remus, and why does that not smack to anyone of a, why did we... Why do we have this here that makes people think there has to be a second strain because there's Romulus, so surely there must be Remus? It's why then why why don't we just have people kind of like it's I don't know we got Bob and Dean or some shit like that just try to find code names for shit which does not give away bits of information about the fucking thing you're supposed to be trying to make oh, fucking ah never mind. Right, we're going to Hong Kong to shoot some people. The shop has been digging into the Prometheus threat and determined that not only are they responsible for the Romulus virus, but there is evidence of a Remus virus. No shit, as in, as fucking suggested by the name. The Remus virus is, is to be, excuse me there. The Remus virus is believed to be the second strain of a so-called Gemini virus. Because of fucking course. Twins. Gemini. <laughs> Recent information uncovered by the shop places the development of the Remus virus in Hong Kong. It is believed that an unknown person with the net name Deviant One may be responsible for the creation of the virus. 
Your mission is to locate the warehouse mentioned by Madeleine Taylor in these, as the originating location of the email describing the Gemini virus. Once there, you need to find any information you can on the second strain, Remus, and if possible, locate Deviant 1. Resistance is expected to be minimal. <laughs> Pack accordingly. All right, well, um, we're expecting light resistance, so, you know... Just gonna just gonna pack one of those uh, automatic shotgun. Uh, you know what? You can't really go wrong with the M4. And then let's grab a. But you know what? Let's grab a couple of grenades. Let's get some good old-fashioned. Really, I can't have. I think John can differentiate between two different types of grenade. Or apparently they'll only let him out with one. It's like, I've only got one box to fill for the type of grenade you can take, so you can only take one type of grenade. But I've got all these pouches on my vest. Yeah, you can have all, you can have, you can fill up all these pouches, but just with one type of grenade. But they're designed for any type of grenade. I know, but it's, it's literally just, I can't fill up any more of the space. The box is this big. <sighs> Fucking bureaucrats. Alright, let's just go with some binoculars for the sake of it. And Alonzi. I said Alonzi. There we go. Hong Kong, lower docks. Would there be upper docks necessarily? I mean, it's sea level. How much higher or lower can you get? Also, holy shit. Look at the ramming device on that junk. I just heard that in my head. That sounded a lot worse. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's Hong Kong, so you know, the actual fog and draw distance looks relatively accurate for a change. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, my wife tells a lot of jokes as well. Oh, and a second. It's coming in to have a... Oh, cheeky smoke? People generally don't run that quickly when they just need to have a quick smoke. Especially in Hong Kong. I don't know if anyone else knows, but it's... Some transportation. <laughs> I think I need to have a word with my traveling. <laughs> There's packed mullins in here. There's not, even any, there's not even any sign he had food or drink with him. I think they just kind of jammed him in here. Oh, dear. Hang on a second. Got a feeling someone has popped in to say hello. Aha, right. Well, I'm not seeing an alarm icon, so I'm assuming I can just, you know, massacre my way around here as I feel, but, uh... Fuck! Oh, well, shit! That didn't work. Okay, hello, hang on a second. Shotgun. Automatic. Good afternoon! Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Deeply unfortunate. Uh, hang on a second, gonna get behind the door. They're not gonna fall for that, are they? Oh, no, no! Man was smart. Man decided to uh, try and take the other direction. Oh, shit! Hang on a second, those were some grenades, weren't they? Right, hello? Ah! Fuck off you! Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I recall. Jesus! 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 Ow! Okay, okay. So there's a dude over there, and he does take rather dramatic exception to me existing. Bear that in mind. Skip the cinematic. Thank you. At the very least, this game is definitely getting its mileage out Some of, um, making this a bit tricky for me. Jesus. Alright, wait for this arsehole to come through here, and then I should have really least be able to take out one of them. Come on. Come on. I can't lean all... I can't lean this all day. I'll get, I don't know, RSI or some kind of, I don't know, rickets. Really? Did you go back that time? <sighs> All right, fine. We're gonna do this your way. We'll do it your way. I just will not be impressed by it, gentlemen. Fuck you and you. Come on, come on. There we go. Right, I think that's all of you. And the question is, can I take out this next asshole without him utterly vaporizing me? Come on, come on. Ha <laughs> ha! Clairvoyancy wins the day once again. Oh, brilliant, he actually had that shotgun on him. I suppose in that regard I probably could have taken something else, but you know what, this works, so fuck it. Right. Oh, shoot! No, there he is. Sorry. Fuck me, that's a grenade! <laughs> okay, now it's a party. Right, where are you, motherfuckers? Wait, what? I got you! Or did you run back in here? Alright, come on. Oh, <laughs> well fucking done. Why are the doors on this junk automated precisely? Fuck, 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 fuck. Right, hang on a second. I've got some grenades. 
And there is a dude somewhere around here. Oh, God, the brightness of it is a bit excessive. Hang on a second, quickly reload this. Excuse me, excuse me. Whoa, Jesus! Fucking hell! Come on, come on, we're in Hong Kong! Admittedly, this is not a John Woo sort of scenario, but fuck it. It makes me feel better. Oh, fucking... God damn it. Where did you throw that grenade precisely? Oh, it's not going to go off. Alright, fine. Here I was hoping for some amusing gibs, and all I got was a bit of an anticlimax. Fucking hellfire! Come on, shag off you! Right, I've got a feeling that this SMG is not going to be particularly useful in a position such as this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for my goddamn equipping animation to finish, and then I'm going to break out the old M4. Right, where are the rest of you arseholes? Nothing over there, nothing over there. Right. I've got a feeling going over there is a secondary... I could have sworn I saw something move over there just for a second. I think my monitor must be going a bit kaput at this point because it does seem remarkably... Oh god! Oh shit! Oh, there we go! Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Contain yourselves! There is more than enough mullins to go around. Right, so it's probably off here into the right, I believe. Right, nip through here. Gentlemen... Oh! Hang on! Jesus! Oh, well, if I mean you're going to be all over there, have one of these. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking hell. Right, well, um... I mean, I'm assuming I'm going in the right direction. I might have just pissed off a random street gang, for all I know. I don't think uh, Mullins is particularly fluent in Cantonese, so for all he knows, he could just be shooting some kind of performing street troop. Fucking hell. Okay, okay. <laughs> God damn. If I, you know what? Hang on a second, very briefly. Right, I think I've now just tweaked my, uh, I think I've just tweaked my, uh, monitor so it's a little bit less, kind of, deep and under-contrasted, because I swear to god, I could not see shit. Oh, Jesus, do not go close to the barrels. Okay, so, on the- Oh, god! Fucking hell! Could you make footsteps, admittedly? I say, could you make footsteps when you move? For all, for all I know, John Mullins has just shot his eardrums to pieces from all this fucking gunfire. See me, not me! Fucking grenades! Yep! Now that was rude. Are you willing to apologise? But a fitting the answer is going to be no! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's unfortunate, but you fucked with me first, so I'm gonna fuck with you last. <laughs> oh god! Fucking! Whew! Credit for playing it cool! Whoops! Whoops! Fuck! Oh god! Oh. <laughs> I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there was a <laughs> stupid Gaijin blew his own head off. Oh wait, not Gaijin, that's fucking Japanese. Oh, never mind. If one could not tell, I am not particularly fluent in English, let alone any other language. Oh, I'm gonna go back from the beginning again. Alright, alright, well, we're getting now this song and dance goes. Come on, you motherfuckers. I think I need to have a Fucking... Fucking, fucking, okay. Well, that was somewhat embarrassing. Fucking, stop dodging. There we go. Anybody else fancy some? Oh. Whoa. Hang on, hang on. Come. Oh, come on. Play fair. I am shooting you in the head. Could you please react accordingly? Fine, I'll just shoot in the arm until you fall over then. Right, hang on a second. Right, so. Do 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 Wait for this guy to open the door. Oh, there we go. Right in the old plums. Whew, right. Then we've got a dude up here. God damn it! I, how do I stairs? Whoa, 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 whoa. I suppose I probably should have tried to break those boxes open in case there was something useful, but all right. Fucking oh, fuck off! Oh Jesus Christ! It's amazing what people can do without their brain stems. I really should watch more, uh, watch more documentaries about that sort of thing. I mean, not explicitly about people being shot in the face with high, high-powered weaponry, but you know, things in that genre, stuff in that wheelhouse. Fuck you! Fuck you! 
Okay, right. I've got a feeling that's... Uh, oh, yeah, that ain't very excessively stuff, though. <laughs> I consider those men utterly sorted. Fantastic. Right. Oh. Shag off. Right. Single fire mode for this is an absolute godsend. Okay, so... We've got places to go, people to see, and, well, an alarming amount of people to kill by the looks of things. It's just a case of... Yeah, there was nothing over here, was there? Ah, ha, ha, ha! Now, what is this? Oh, Jesus! Fucking hellfire! Alright, well... I'm grabbing... You realize I'm down here, right? <laughs> Alright, sure, suppose if that works for you. Oh no, those are, those are particularly sturdy grenades, I see. Fucking hell! Could you lot calm down with the grenades? You could hurt someone doing that. Whoa, dip! God damn, fucking hell! Right, jump! Oh god, oh god, no! I was scammed! I was utterly scammed! Fucking- Oh god damn it! <laughs> Okay, just don't bother going over there, I think, is the answer to that particular conundrum. That way lies getting shagged in multiple directions from grenades, sniper rifles, and everything else. I think I need to have a word with my travel agent. So does he. Right. Gentlemen. Fuck off. Oh dear. Exceeding bloody unfortunate. Right. At the very least, I can put my faith in this shotgun. <laughs> Come on, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is not crispy beef. Have some of that. Right. Okay, so up here. Oh, for fuck's sake. This. Oh, come on. Off you go. Shuffle off that mortal coil and up. Ooh, dear. No, thanks. I don't need a hand. All right. Through here. Oh, hang on a second. What I need is this. So I need this, go up over here. Chunk! Fuck, up here. Okay. That'll do it. Brilliant stuff. Right. Whoop. Whew, okay, there we go. Right. So just disregard everything over there, because that's just gonna result in horrible squelchy death. Uh ha! -ha. Oh, come on! I blew some shit up near you! Standard action movie tropes dictate when I blow something up, everyone in the 50 yard radius falls over and plays pretends they're dead. And then gets shot in the bollocks, apparently. You know what? I'll take that. Okay, so. Oh dear! Hang on! Fucking grenades! Christ! What do they pave the roads here with? Rubber? Actually, that's. Let's not get down that road. Oh god, more fucking grenades. Look, I get it, you don't like me. Perhaps we could discuss this over a nice cup of tea and, I don't know, some more magazines. Come on, I know you're around there. Woo! <laughs> oh, come on. I barely, in fact, no, I just shot you in the box. I can't take moral superiority there. That was a bit excessive, even by my standards. Whoa, Jesus! Okay, okay, apparently there are women trying to murder me now. This makes a pleasant change. I no, that, that came out wrong. By that, I mean in terms of the diversity. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. Okay, where the fuck did that grenade go? Woohoo! Okay. What the fuck? God damn it! Piss off! Okay, well that did it, I suppose. That was, that was fairly bloodless, uh, apart from all the blood that's kind of flying out of her now. Uh, why am I trying to, still trying to scrape together some kind of semblance of moral decency? I'm John Mullins, I'm here to shoot people in the face. And I suppose try and save the world if I can, but it's not, it's not like it's the major thing on my to-do list. Whoop, right, over we go. Got a feeling that was an optional mook area. Oh dear! Oh god! One thing I will say, the gore engine on this is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, oh! Where the fuck did that grenade... Who are you trying to flash it? Did that man... Oh. <laughs> you know, I should just hang out here. Maybe all the mooks will just wipe themselves out. Right, any more dudes off to my right? Nope, that flank seems clear. Right, there 
is the dude. Fuck off with your grenade bullshit. Right. Ooh, I'm alarmingly low on this. Right. And then that, off to my right. Fine by me. Murder them all. Right. Now, there are some dudes who will have a bit of a fucking Barney with me in a second. Whoa, okay. I think repositioning is probably a good idea. Right, I don't think I can actually get around from anywhere else. Ah, oh, bollocks. And there's a sniper. But a fucking call. Fuck off. Right, there is a sniper around here somewhere. And he's going to get a fucking taste of, well, something. Either 5.56 or something else suitably painful. Where the fuck is he? Aha. Fuck you. Oh, and of course, ah. Oh. The traditional pre-scripted fall from a window that he didn't even stick around for. Just kind of toppled off the side and carked it by the looks of things. Fuck you! Cheeky little bastard with your moot closet. I'm not gonna buy any of that shit. Right, grab this armor. You know what? We're gonna quick save. Okay, well, um I suppose fucking hell. Oh Jesus! Fuck you, right. Ooh, yeah, we are getting dangerously low on ammo here. I've got a feeling when I burn through this, probably... Fucking... Okay, look, seriously, after a few shots, you should at least break your concentration sufficiently to not be able to throw a goddamn grenade. Not just soldier through for the sake of the fucking action. Okay. Oh, there we go! Fucking checking my corners and still doesn't do the fucking job half the time. Right, I am absolutely flat out of ammo after this. In fact, you know I'm going to go to single quickly. Fuck! Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> after all that effort of trying not to be particularly brutal towards women, I then callously headshot two of them. Fuck. Well. Fucking. Okay, hang on a second. I still have grenades, you asshole. Oh, God. Okay. I think the, I think the minimal violence towards women has gone out the fucking window with that. Oh lord, okay, right, hang on a second. We're gonna do, we're gonna do double oozes, we're gonna do fucking double oozes properly. Give it a second. Is there anyone in there? I'm gonna assume yes. I'm also going to assume you fancy trying out a selection of my delicious grenades. Fuck you. Oh god damn it. John Mullins is a legendarily shit throwing arm. There we go. Much more fucking like it. Man, I hope there weren't any civilians in there. Eh, it's probably alright. Come on, you motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, there was definitely someone in there. Oh, 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 oh boy. That was unfortunate. Fuck. Jesus. Okay. Well, suppose this could be going worse. Not by much, though. I've shown up in Hong Kong, and I've just started immediately shooting everyone in sight. I'm really hoping that this is actually taking me the right direction. Whoops. Excuse me. Oh, well, I clearly must be progressing in the correct direction, because there is the exit. Let's go. <laughs> Jumbo just stumbles face first into the door. Bless him. Alright, well. Let's have a look around here. Not seeing anyone. Although, I can only assume. Corner. Fucking Jesus fucking Christ, bloody hell woman! Pugger off! Oh. Okay, well, that definitely worked. Wherever I am, it's definitely, well, it's definitely some kind of plot relevant location. And that's locked. 